by, by Ray of Brooklyn. Brooklyn. That, that intention stands. And his opponent across the ring, King of Manchester, Crusher. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Look at that combination by bad intentions. He missed with that headshot. He comes with a straight right hand. Well targeted two punch combo by Crusher. Good step back counter punch there. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Back to the body. A headshot blocked. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Little volume punching to the body there. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Bad intentions is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That... Here we go. Round two is underway. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. That is a strong uppercut there. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Hey, you got to get some of that too now. Come on, let's go. How about that exchange? Nice work, the left hand to the head. He's got his guard up really well that time and checks his head. Not what he was looking for, that's a miss right there by Crusher. Oh, veteran move, counter shot to the head. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. Well-targeted left hand by bad intentions. Left to the body. He digs in, trying to bank away body shots with the combo. He scored well after being hit himself. Right to the belt line. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Bad intentions is tagged by a tremendous power punch. Banks is doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches in bunches. The combination lands. You see, he sits and waits and then strikes with that counter punch. And round number three is underway. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. Good work toe-to-toe -to -toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Wow, look at that. Trading shots. Able 
able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Good job with another left hand. That's a good block by Crusher. Halfway through this round here. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisp, the old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Good combination to the body. Flush right hand to the body. Crusher's blocking ability is doing well for him there. Solid uppercut. Crusher's able to avoid that punch. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. The countdown, the final moments of this round. Good flush one-two jab and a straight hand by Crusher. And the bell rings. Well, I think this is a fairly even fight, Teddy. As we look at your scorecard, that's the way you have it as we begin round number four. Well, it's been a battle of jabs, to be honest with you, Joe. And until one guy shows that his jab is bilingual, it's going to stay close. And what I mean by that, if one guy shows that his jab can do more than speak just English, maybe a little Spanish, you know, maybe a little bit of this language where he hooks off and he does more things, that guy is going to separate himself. Good combination by Crusher. And this now he the brings the left hand, hand upstairs. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Targeting the uppercut, and it worked. Halfway through round number four. is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Come on, come on! Scored well up top. He got all into that one. That was a solid uppercut. More than one punch downstairs, that can be damaging. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. He missed that uppercut. Scores up top with a left. Good work on the outside from him. And that was set up by his inside fighting early. A place where, quite honestly, I expected him to be all night long. But now he's getting the privilege. He's getting the luxury of being able to stay outside a little bit. Boy, sharp two-punch combination by Crusher. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Zoning in on that gut combination punch downstairs. Halfway into round number five here. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? Left and right, left and right. All right, keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> Russia.
Crusher staying away from trouble. He's out there on the outside. Good two-punch combo by Crusher. Good exchange. He fires back. Hooks on the inside. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Let's go, hit We've reached the halfway. Who's really up? I could see making an argument for either guy, but that's a testament to both guys and what they've been willing to bring to this battle tonight. Yeah, what it's a testament to, Joe, is that it's an enjoyable fight. After a while, you don't even concentrate on who's up. All you know is you're enjoying every bit of it. Carries that punch intended for the head. That's a big uppercut that just crashed home. Crusher's putting forth a great combination there. Now, this is just beautiful to watch. Watch how he just links one to the next, Teddy. A beautiful sequence, almost like musical notes being played. Well, exactly. It's a nice tune because it just follows. One, as you said, follows the other. Nice and smooth. Oh, what an uppercut. Firing off the uppercuts. Great exchange. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Punch. He takes a shot Punch. and then commits to giving one right back. Keep working the body. a fierce left hand that landed by Crusher. Very good work right there. The power shot after blocking his opponent's effort. Crusher's going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter. Last 10 seconds. Well placed, well timed combo up top. A clean, crisp right hand by Crusher. The job is not finished. Go out and keep at it. Well targeted right hand by Crusher. Keep moving, keep moving. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Job. It was sudden, it was fast, it was direct by Banks. You're not focused. Keep moving. Keep moving. Blocks away that headshot. Halfway through the seventh round, Banks' failure to protect himself from that left hand, it's become a big story now. Yeah, and he has to understand why. He's not controlling distance. He's standing too close in front. Needs to adjust a little further out. Carries it away. Boom! Big shot upstairs. <laughs> Russia's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Jump on him, jump on him right now. Got to be accurate to send the combination to the body, and he does that. Get inside, get inside. An accurate left by Crusher. Banks is hurt by that. Shake it off. How about that left hand? Seven rounds complete. Teddy's scorecard does have it clearly in one direction. 
Rushers earned that lead on the scorecards, but his opponent has also done some damage. Yeah, it hasn't been exactly a picnic. I mean, it started off that way, but the ants are coming. They're starting to get over things a little bit here. It's getting a little hairy. Man, that's it, baby. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Bad intentions has gone into a defensive shell, but that shell has cracked him. Yeah, it does, and the reason why it's getting cracked is because his opponent is confident that with those earmuffs on, you know, going into that peek defense that he is, he knows he's handcuffed, so he's putting together three, four, five punches where normally he would only throw one or two, worried something's going to come back. A solid left hand by bad intentions. The halfway point of round number eight. Well-placed body shot again. That's a damaging jab. I know it doesn't seem like much, but that's a good, strong jab by Crusher. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. That is boxing 101. Big, big shot he just scored with. And he, he goes down, and he was on the outside where he doesn't like to be. Where he shouldn't be, and he paid a price. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The ref stops the fight. Rusher's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. So that's all it took. One good shot. Banks' career hits a major...